watched it after she caught him cheating with her best friend. That was 15 years ago. Meanwhile, recently, Eric and Jeremy ran into each other at a local gas station, and guess what? They connected again. And now they're engaged to be married. But Erica remembers how Jeremy hurt her 15 years ago, and now she's terrified he's going to do it again. This is her story. When I was 16 years old, I was deeply in love with Jeremy until I found out he had sex with my best friend. Three years ago, he came back into my life. He promised that he would never cheat on me again. When I was sick in the hospital recovering from my surgery, I think that Jeremy was sleeping with one of my neighbors. He lied for four months about touching another woman's breast. When Jeremy was working out of town, I called him 50 times and he never answered his phone. I drove my car to the hotel. What did I find when I got there was makeup stains on the hotel sheet. I also found a long piece of blonde hair. Hello, my hair is brown. We're supposed to be getting married in June, but if Jeremy is cheating, this wedding is off. So way back when you were kids, he broke your heart. Yes. I found out he was already sleeping with my best friend. So you said, that's it. I don't want to be yeah. around you. Yes, I did. But now recently, you all, you know, reconnected. Yeah, actually, we ran into each other at the gas station, exchanged numbers, and since then, we've been together. Been it's together. been three years. You love him? I do, deeply. Why do you think he's cheating on you now? Because there's all the signs of it. Yeah, I mean, like he, what? within three months of us dating, he had his hands on my neighbor's breast. Um, he lied about it for four months. She told me about it. She come to me the next day and told me. So he works out of town. Yeah. One time you went to surprise him, right? You yes. got in the car and went to surprise him. Yeah, when I got there, uh, there was makeup on the bed, eyeshadow, <laughs> mascara, but and blush and stuff. And he says it's from chalk, from line chalk. <laughs> Listen to this. Um, my told me that my neighbor was there and they were in my room having adult time adult and sent her away <laughs> told her to go away oh she heard them in there moaning um and making noises this is my telling me this did, and that they sent her away did you talk to him about me. that yeah and he, he say? said it, that's not true that didn't happen <laughs> He said it, she made it up? Yeah. If he fails this test, what's going to happen? We're not getting married. You're not getting married. Here's Jeremy. Welcome, Jeremy, everybody. Mm. Jeremy. Yes, sir. She have a wild imagination? She does have a wild imagination. You cheated on her way back, you know, as kids. You, you, and so she immediately said, I can't be well, with you. Well, Murray, to begin with, uh, we wasn't together when we were back then. Uh, and and, and I, don't, I do feel bad for it. I hate that, you know, I hurt her back then. Right. But we're not together. How could you just make we're... out with me and be with me and then just all of a sudden your falls into my best friend? <laughs> that not, usually doesn't happen. I'm not a teenager. How about this? They were teenagers, for crying out loud. Yes. 16 years exactly. old. Exactly. I'm not a mm. teenager. You're going to go everywhere you man. can when you're that young. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Murray. Thank you. Oh. Girls, you don't understand. You don't understand what's going on with kids at 16 years old. Well, right. guys must not understand what girls are going on through at 16 Probably years old not. either. We don't know what's going on with you when you're 26, 36, 46, 50. <laughs> She knew about this when we, we yeah. re reconnected. But she Jeremy, knew about yeah, this. But, it's supposed to be but, forgiven and but, forgotten. But Jeremy, yeah. now that you're an adult, <laughs> right? And you touch and, and you touch the, the and thing. they touch the neighbor's breasts. <laughs> and it took you four months to admit it. And, uh, that, yes, I didn't make a mistake. When you're out of town working, yes. Are you messing with women in your motel in your hotel? Absolutely room? not. How can you? Take like a blush, mascara, and eyeliner on the pillows and blankets. It's not. It's not like it was. Uh, I'm a carpenter. Carpenters have different tools. There's a chalk line that has red chalk and stuff. Uh, we got a couple guys in the hotel room. I know what a Usually chalk. Usually it's blue. 
I've seen blue chalk line. I've seen red oh, chalk I've, line. Okay? I've, I've seen it now. I've used red. chalk line, too. I use a chalk line because when I have this putting, I, I'm on, a, on the putting green, and, I, and you want to putt in a straight line, and you take a <laughs> chalk line, and from the hole, you take a chalk line so that you straight know... Straight to that hole, huh? Exactly. <laughs> says that you brought a neighbor into the house, went up into the bedroom for adult time. Oh. She tells her all the time. She talks about this all the time, all the time to people. That... A kid is not going to come up to you and be like, Mom, here, where's my big surprise at? I just heard Jeremy upstairs in the room 